I'm Aaron, CEO of XY Gaming, and we're building a platform where gamers can challenge each other for real cash. And before anyone asks, it is legal, because it's games of skill that we tackle. So we're tackling the big games out there now, if people want to challenge for $10, $20 in League of Legends, Dota, StarCraft 2, and other big games out there that have 80 million following, we're able to do it for cash. Um, right now we're in our pre-beta, so in our beta stages, so I only, for breaks, I apologize, I only just pushed the code about two hours ago, so it, uh, and I can go through a demo of what we're actually doing. So the big thing is that we're actually tackling here is, um, right now we want to be able to, it's a very fragmented market. So gamers have to go to several different websites to get either their community data and be able to chat to each other, or they have to go to different websites to play different games. And what we're trying to do is consolidate that and automate the whole process for the gamer. So this is the home page for the website in. So we have it very simply, they can read news. Up here we're on the compete section right now. So there's compete, news, community, and help that they can go through. Um, new players guide, we're featuring the current games we're gonna be doing right now is StarCraft, League of Legends, Dota, and Halo. Um, and we're talking to current companies like Microsoft and stuff like that, which are interested in sponsoring products for us to be able to do free stuff. Every single one of the users can jump on here and challenge. So for instance, in League of Legends, I'm already logged in. I have cash on my account. And I've got, we, we do both play money as well as real cash. So the users can jump on there for free if they want and play for not, not, not actual, their real money. So it allows them to be able to onboard them eventually as paid users. Um, we have two different ways the users can challenge right now. So they can challenge instantly with other users that are currently already active on the website, as well as they're able to challenge on a challenge board which allows them to pre proactively challenge. So if I go into the instant challenge board, I can see here on the screen, I can choose between real cash play money. I'm able to basically see all the users that are currently on there and then just instantly challenge them. So this will bring up an overlay where I can change the different amount as well as then I can basically tweet and do my Facebook amount, put it on my Facebook page and we give them discounts for doing this. So it organically gets us new users. Um, right on here, down the bottom, they can also sit there and chat so they can interact with each other to be able to call people out and say, hey, you've been giving me crap on the forums, let's challenge for $10, put your money where your mouth is. And that's what we kind of encourage. <laughs> um, the other way to challenge is we're setting up a challenge board. So the users can able to jump on there and basically, if I'm sitting there at work and I want to be able to challenge there later down the track, it allows me to be able to post up that I'm available between this time for this amount, and the users are able to jump on there and basically challenge them directly while they're offline, so that when they jump on when they're available, they have these queued up challenges. So it allows you to be able to challenge instantly. Um, we do full data tracking for all the users, so we track to be able to give, give, the, to give the other users metrics, they're able to view everyone else's profiles. So it has their current games, it, it shows the stats of their games, their win-loss, so you're able to actually you know, determine whether you can beat them and it allows for fair play. So every single game we have a different skill level for. So we have an algorithm running in the background that tracks their skill play, tracks who they're actually versing, and allows us to be able to match them against even level competitors. Um, it, you can go through their match history as well as see their reputation. So that's another thing that we added because some people are sore losers. So we wanted to make sure that you see, track it on just not a metric of their win and loss, but a reputation from the other users peer to peer. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up most of it, going through it all. But if anyone has any questions, I'd love to answer them. Yes? So how do you validate the wins and losses on different platforms? So what we have is an automated algorithm running in the background. Right now the industry works on a manual system. So whereas the two of us want to play for cash, we jump on there, we challenge for $10, we then go play the game, and you being the winner, you, you win 12-3. You have to go back and manually enter 12-3. And then me being the loser, I also have to verify that, which is a big problem that we identified. So what I've done is, and you know, losers often lie, right? So what, what we've done is we've built an engine for each of these games. That's better, you know, instead, if we play on XY Gaming, we jump on there, we put our wager down, and before you get from your couch back to the computer, we can already verify the result and pay the money directly into your account. So there's no friction and no problems. Yep? Do you take Bitcoin? Uh, we're currently not taking Bitcoin because it, it, it creates actually a lot of issues for us because it's it's within that gray area and we're already sitting within that. So we'd rather not, uh, we'd rather not push it. <laughs> and it also creates a nightmare for us because, so I was a casino manager for five years and we have to deal with the anti-terrorism laws, money laundering, everything like that. And Bitcoin, because of the way you have to track it, it's actually hard for us to do it. 
Anyone else? Yep. Oh, we automate it. So we automate the whole process. So a lot of the other companies out there, they also don't target big games. So we're doing the big games that have 80 million users, we have 50 million users, because we're completely automating it. So that's, that's the big difference that we're trying to bring, is we, we, we're doing the big games that are already playing competitively, and we're also automating the results. Whereas right now, they're all working on a manual results verification, which is very inefficient. Yep. Are you working with a Russian guy by chance? Because there's a dude walking around lately pitching the exact Who's same story. There's, 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 there are two other startups, but um, they're basically not doing the big games. That's the, that's the, that's the thing that we're tackling. Yeah, that's, that's the only game they're doing. And they're doing it, I think it's Bitcoin from memory. And that's it. Yeah, because they're trying to get around the legalities. So, whereas we've actually built it within our system to be able to make it legal in America. Speaking of which, what are what are some scenarios that you and your lawyers are worried about? <laughs> um, well, the big one is is money laundering and chip dumping. So that's the big scenario that we have built into the back end to track. So What's from chip dumping. Uh, chip dumping or credit card dumping. So what users do is they actually um, they steal a whole pile of credit cards, they throw the money onto the website in their user, and what they do is then lose it to another user that is, that's their own account, and then they basically claim because it's lost to another user, we can't actually take it. So we have stuff in that back end and set there to be able to track that and be able to basically stop it before it happens, as well as we lock, lock certain accounts to credit card details, to IPs, to several other different things. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Is there an age limit for this? Or like, you know, do you have to be 21, 18, 15, 14 still? You um, it depends on the age of the game. So yeah. if, you're, if you're basically a 13 plus game, then 13 plus are allowed to play on it, but they're allowed to play on it for the free side of it. So once they turn 18, we send them an email and say, hey, you're doing really well on the free side. Would you like this $5 free credit for your birthday? So it gives us a conversion there. But that's the big thing we're trying to tackle is we want to make sure that we make it friendly for the parents because we're going to allow tracking there on the, on the back end for the parents to log in and be able to go, okay, I'm not at home, but I can see that my child is now logged in and still playing. <laughs> yep. What is your business relationship with the publishers of those games? Does money change hands? Uh, money doesn't change hands with us, with the publishing companies. They actually, they actually endorse it because it gets them more stickiness. A lot of the games out there are basically trying to push esports to make the games more sticky because they, they, they get sales within the game for microtransactions and other things like that. So they're actually very excited with what we're doing. I have actually talked to them and a lot of the publishers and, and right now it'll actually be the other way around is once they want us to host big tournaments and stuff like that, they'll actually be pushing money to us to host them for when they bring out new games or new content. How do you make money? Uh, yeah, our business model is we take a service fee off every challenge. So right now the industry standard is about 14%. We're doing it for 30 percent, and then we're taking it down to 11 percent if you put it on your social media. So incentive. Sounds like the next billion dollar idea. <laughs> awesome. Right. Thank you. Thank you.